And so I think of it as a three part um, engagement. And we start off with the Kegel exercises. If you don't know how to engage your Kegels or what that is, um, it's the muscles that you use when you have to go to the bathroom really bad and you hold it in, that's your Kegel muscles. So while laying down on the ground, you wanna engage your Kegel muscles. So tighten them up and then tighten up your stomach muscles. And I'm just putting my hand here so I can feel it engaging. And then you squeeze your glutes. So your core muscles are all the muscles um, from your stomach all around your spine, inside and out. Um, it's not just your stomach muscles. So we have all these muscles engaged. It's almost just like a tight belt all the way around your spine. And you'll just hold that. And first of all, I want you to just practice engaging those muscles and holding them all for 10 seconds as hard as you can while practicing breathing. And make sure you're doing diaphragm breathing, not chest breathing. And practice that and then just relax everything. So it's really important just to do this several times a day um, and practice it. You can do it sitting down, laying down, standing up but just practice engaging the Kegel muscles, then the stomach, and then squeeze the glutes and hold it all, keep it engaged, and then relax everything. So this is kind of the basis of everything you do in dancing when you're standing up and any, um, any movement you make, you really wanna have these muscles engaged to help. The stronger your core muscles are, the more it'll protect your hips, your knees, and your, your um, ankles and your feet. There's actually research that shows that um, you decrease the incident of ankle and feet injuries by 26% by having a stronger core. So how we advance this is once you practice this enough, then you'll um, take steps towards making the exercises more complicated. So you do the Kegel, tighten up your stomach, squeeze your glutes, don't forget to keep breathing, and then you're going to march with your feet. So you'll pick one foot up and alternate, keeping the core engaged the entire time. You really want to work on keeping your shoulders relaxed while you're doing this. Keep it tight and keep engaging. Good. And again, you can do about two, two sets of 15 of this. And relax. Okay, next we're going to have her bring both of her legs back. The further your knees are towards your chest, the easier it is. Doing the Kegel, tightening up your stomach and squeezing your glutes. You're going to let your knees, both your knees go towards the floor and then back up. Nice, controlled, easy pumps. Challenge yourself, but just make sure you're not losing these core muscles. Make sure you're keeping it tight the whole way, up and down. Good. Probably start off with about two sets of ten of these. And don't go too far down. You'll feel your your back lift off the back of the floor and then you're, you've gone too far. You want to keep it engaged and steady the entire time and relax. And then next we want to perform what's called um, heels to heaven. You'll put both your feet up in the air and keeping the core engaged you're just going to lift up your buttocks and go ahead and try up. Your butt just comes off and you don't want to rock your feet back. You want them to go straight up. So straight up. Yep, there you go. It's not a rocking motion. It's just straight up to the sky. And again, do two sets of 10. This is usually a little difficult. You want to control that and relax. So those are um, some basic core exercises you can start with. We also want to do um, sideline clams. I mean, sideline clams with the sideline plank. So go ahead and lay on your left side, on your elbow. You can do these on your elbow or your hand. Scoot back just a little bit. You'll scoot, pick your buttocks up. No, your buttocks up. Off, the, off of the, um, you're in the side plank too, good. Keeping everything straight, shoulders back, chest up, good. Keeping the hip up off the ground. While holding that position and keeping the core tight, you're just gonna lift your knee up and then back down. And again, the thing you don't wanna do is rotate back. You wanna keep everything neutral and keep it tight, good job. Now eventually, down the road, you can do side planks and be, do passe and some other positional um, things. But right now, we just want to stick with the side plank. Um, you'll do this on both sides, probably again, two sets of 15. If you have any bands at home, resistive bands, you can do a lot of the exercises. So um, go ahead and put those above your knees. I have a whole series of exercises I like to do with the bands. So um, if you don't have one, it'd be great to get one. If you need some help, we can, uh, down the road, we can get you some bands for sure. 
So you're going to go ahead and do the side plank with the band. You can either do it on your hand again or on your elbow. Keep everything straight, chest open, core engaged, everything straight, hips are up off the mat, and she's not rotating back. Good. And again, you'll do two sets of 15. Then you can go ahead and uh, stand up and keep those on your ankles. And we're going to have her get into what we call athletic stance or power stance. So a side view would be your knees are bent. Turn to the side, Kylie. Keeping your core is engaged, chest up. It's almost as if you put a straight rod on your back. Might engage your core just a little bit more. Go down into the squat and tuck your tail in a little bit. There, good. So go ahead and step to the side. Good. Holding that position. You're not rotating your hips and you'll go back and forth. We call that lateral step and relax. And then we'll do what's called monster walk. So legs spread apart, squat position, and just walking forward. Not rotating the hips, just keeping your hips forward, then walk backwards. You'll feel a lot of this in your glutes. And relax, good job. We call the fire hydrant, turn to the side. Bend your knees just a little bit, keep the core engaged, balance on one foot, and then you're gonna bring your foot back and out. And just kind of keeping the hips neutral. Don't open up the hips and press it out two sets of 15. You'll do that on both sides too. And relax. Good job.